Hi everyone, my name is Adam and I'm an account executive here at Search Metrics. So I speak with SEO teams on how they can leverage data to improve the performance of their website. Today what I want to do is talk to you about a very common problem that many companies experience, which is traffic loss to your website. So I want to go over our different tips and tricks on what you can do to identify where that traffic loss is coming from so you can start to formulate a plan on what to do to actually fix it. So let's dive in. So if you're losing traffic to your site, you're going to notice because you're probably going to have less signups on the site or less purchases or whatever that main metric is that's really important to your bottom line. You're probably going to notice a decrease in that. So first off, just go into your Google Analytics. This is a sign-up page for Google Analytics or your Adobe Analytics account. Either one of those works fine. Um, and just look at how much traffic you're actually losing. The next thing you're going to want to do is try to determine where that traffic loss is actually coming from. Is it coming from a loss in organic search presence or is it coming from other channels like social media, for example? So it makes it much easier to do this if you're using an SEO platform. So I'm just going to show you how we would do it in the search metric suite. So what we're looking at here is the organic visibility for HoustonPress.com. So this is a two-year trend line telling us how likely it is that HoustonPress.com will receive traffic specifically through organic search. So to calculate this, we're looking at how many keywords they're ranking for, what position those keywords are in, the search volume of those specific terms. But the most important thing is we're actually applying a dynamic click-through rate to this model. So we're looking at the elements on the SERP or on the page itself and then applying a probability to that URL of how likely it is to actually get clicked on. So for example, if you're in position three and there is a knowledge graph and a people also ask element on those pages, that's gonna push that URL further down on the page, which will decrease the likelihood that you'll actually receive traffic. If there's no elements like that on the page, then it'll be higher up, it'll be a higher probability. So depending on the page or on the specific search term, that page elements are gonna change, so the probability is gonna change. So if we're looking at this graph here, um, you can see here around mid-August of 2018, so they're around 13,000 in their visibility score. They went up, they had a big spike here, then they went down for a little while, then they, they had, had kind of a rise for a little while, and now they've just kind of been trending down for the past six months or so. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go into your Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics account and try to see is that drop in traffic, is that actually correlated to a drop in organic visibility? If it is, it's probably very likely that that traffic loss is coming from organic search as opposed to other channels. So another thing you can do when you notice that you're losing traffic to your website is compare your organic search presence to the competitive landscape. So look at your competitors, look at others in the industry, and just see how their site is performing against your website. And really what you're looking for here is, are there any kind of major changes in my competitor's visibility around any particular dates and time? Um, this can give you some really unique or interesting clues as to what might be happening. So in order to do this, you're gonna need to use some sort of SEO platform because you're not gonna have access to your competitors, uh, Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics. So I'm gonna show you how I would look at this within the search metric suite. So what you can see here is the two year trend line or organic visibility of Houston Press. So that's their likelihood to receive organic search traffic. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of keep in mind, by the way, keep in mind this, this drop here, something kind of interesting is gonna happen. So let's first just pick, pick a competitor. So we'll do Culture Map. They had a fairly kind of flat visibility here. They popped up and then they went down. So I don't see a ton there that, that has any sort of correlation. Um, so let's, let's try a different one here. So let's go to visithoustontexas.com. So this one, you can see that they've been pretty even with each other and pretty flat up until that one drop right around the end of September, early October. And then it looks like Visit Houston, Texas has been going up since then, and they've been going down. So this is kind of an interesting clue. It might clue us off to something where maybe there was a Google algorithm change around this time that might have had an impact on why they're kind of going in separate directions. So in the next video, I'll actually show you how you can identify if an algorithm update had any effect on your organic search traffic or visibility. So the next thing you'll wanna do is you'll wanna look at what's going on with the Google algorithm updates and try and figure out if this is having an impact on your organic search presence. So these are updates that Google's rolling out typically about once a quarter. And if you've been in SEO for a while, you're probably pretty familiar that they can have a really big impact on your site's traffic. 
So just make sure you're very up to date and in tune with what's going on with these updates. To do that, I would follow Google Webmasters on Twitter. They've been much better over recent years of just letting us know when an update's actually rolling out. So just make sure you know what kind of information is coming out of this account. Now, to look at how these updates have had an effect on your overall visibility, um, I'll show you how we do that here in the search metric suite. There might be some other ways that you can do it in other tools. But what we've done here is we've actually overlaid the different algorithm updates on top of this visibility trend. So again, that visibility graph, this is telling us how likely it is that HoustonPress.com is to receive traffic through organic search specifically. So you can see here, if you remember um, from the last video, we actually went to HoustonTexas.com, visit HoustonTexas.com. And right around this time period, so like really early October, when we saw a big drop in HoustonPress.com, we've seen kind of an increase, a steady increase from VisitHoustonTexas.com. So that clued us in that there might have been an event that happened right around this time period that's having an effect on HoustonPresses.com's overall visibility. So when we look at this, we can go, there's an algorithm update right here, right, right after they had, had this big drop. So again, end of September, early October. We can look and there was the September 2019 core update. So this would definitely be something to look into. If you're using the search metric suite, you can click and go straight to our blog. If you're not a search metrics customer, you can actually subscribe to our blog. But if you click that link, it'll actually take you right here. This is going to give you much more information as to what's going on with the algorithm update. You'll get much more information um, as to what's happening and what you might be able to do to actually fix it. So for them, it seems like given the fact that they had a close competitor start to take off right around this time period, and this update corresponds right after the drop that they had, it's probably fairly likely that that update had something to do with their traffic loss, so this is definitely something they would want to explore further. So another thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you notice a traffic loss to your website is start looking at which keywords are actually losing you the most traffic. So this can be really important to try and determine are there certain areas of your website that are losing you more traffic than others. So in order to do this, you're gonna need some sort of keyword tracking tool. There's a bunch of tools out there that you can Google. I'm gonna show you how we do it in the search metric suite. So this is a section of our suite that on a week by week basis is going to track which keywords are gaining you traffic and which keywords are losing you traffic. So what you can see here, this black line is your overall SEO visibility score. So again, that's the likelihood you are to receive traffic. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you'll wanna pick a week in which you had a drop in visibility. And you'll be able to see here, um, so I'll just pick the week of May 10th. You can see the red bar is higher than the green bar, which means we lost more keywords than we gained. So what I wanna do, click on that, scroll down here. And then what I can see is I can see the keywords that I lost traffic on, the URLs, see the position, what the trend was over the last week. And then this part's really interesting. This is the traffic index change. So this is telling us because we lost that amount of positions, this is the amount of people or the amount of traffic that we are estimated to lose on a monthly basis. So this can be a really good area to try to start identifying, okay, which keywords am I losing traffic on? Are there any trends on URLs? Um, are certain keywords losing me much more traffic than others? So what you can see here, as we look through the different keywords that we're losing, you can see the different directories. We have the news directory, the topic directory, news locations, uh, we have music, there's news twice, locations, so it seems like we're losing a little bit more maybe on the locations and news categories, but I don't think it's a really strong correlation or indication that those, those directories in particular are, are losing us the most. What I do notice here though is just this top keyword, TWC, we dropped 35 positions down to position 43. Because of that, losing Houston Press is losing about 3,700 people per month because of that one keyword change. This is significantly more than all of the other losses that they saw. So this might be a really good indication for them to start looking into this particular URL to see maybe why did they lose so much traffic for that particular keyword. So another thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you notice a traffic loss to your website is you're gonna to wanna to dig in to the different directories on your site to see if certain areas had a larger impact than others. So you can go into Adobe Analytics or Google Analytics and look at which pages in particular have, have lost you more traffic. But if you want to correlate that all to organic search traffic, you're going to need to use some sort of SEO platform. So I'm going to show you how we look at it here in the search metric suite. So this is for HoustonPress.com. These are basically trend lines. These are the visibility trend lines. So this is going to show 
the likelihood they are to receive organic traffic. So what you can see here is we have the arts directory in the blue, in the purple is the restaurants, we have the darker blue, which is locations. All of these seem to be fairly flat. So if they have a big drop in SEO visibility or traffic, it's probably not due to those particular areas of the website. So I'm just gonna remove those. And then what you're seeing here, what's left is, is the news category. So the news category you can see is much more volatile. So that might then be an area of the site where you go, okay, I wanna pay a little bit more attention and look into that section a little bit deeper to see what I can do to actually fix the problem. So doing a site crawl is another really important step to take when you're trying to identify what's going on with the traffic loss. So there's a bunch of tools out there that can do a site crawl. So some just focus on site crawls, some are more all-in-one solutions like the search metric suite, but it's really just important to actually do a crawl because it'll help you identify any sort of technical issues or errors that are popping up on your website. So if you're losing traffic, it, it could be because maybe um, you're actually blocking the Google bots from crawling portions of your site. That would be a big problem to look into fixing. Um, or maybe there was an algorithm update that rolled out that really hammered websites that have a slower um, page speed or loading times. So it might be really important to identify those important URLs, make sure your site is a little bit quicker. Um, I'm going to show you a couple important metrics to look at within a crawl I've actually done for HoustonPress.com. So I went in here into the server responses section. So this is just checking and making sure that um, you don't have like a lot of 404 errors, pages that can't be found, or you don't have a lot of redirect pages. Um, things along those lines. In this case, for the pages that I've crawled, looks like most of these pages are pretty healthy. So you might want to look into something else here. So we could look into canonical tags, for example. And we want to identify if their URLs, or a lot of these URLs have canonical tags. You can see here that a lot of them don't. So it's just only seven of, of the 5,000 that I crawled actually have canonical tags. So that might be something that, that we want to change from a structural perspective. We can also look in and go to PageSpeed. As I mentioned before, um, Google really does hammer companies sometimes for having a slow page speed. So you can see a lot of their pages are, are fairly slow, so we can go in and identify which URLs those are and how quickly they're actually loading. So that would be one thing to look at. Um, other important things we might wanna look at, so we don't wanna look at broken and redirected links. We don't wanna have a lot of broken links on the site. Um, we also wanna go into, and I'm gonna show you this link equity optimization portion. So this is all about internal linking. So if you're not familiar with internal linking, Internal linking is basically your way of telling Google which pages on your website are the most important. And you're doing this by actually pointing certain pages to those important pages. So you're basically linking them together. So the pages that are really important on your website, you want to make sure that you can get to that page from a lot of other pages on the website. So in the search metric suite, we actually have an SPS score. So search metrics page string score. 10 is the means they're, they're really important. They're well linked. One means they're not well linked. So you'll want to go through and look at all the different URLs on your website and determine, okay, is this an important URL and how well is it linked? Am I telling Google that this is an important page on the site? And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually set up monthly crawls to see how those things are changing over time and determine is this having an impact or reversing the actual traffic loss to my website. Mm -hmm.